You know what's great? <sighs> Dollar Tree. I bought the stockings at Dollar Tree. And let me tell you, game changer. Dollar Tree is really the backbone of America. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, but that, it's really great because everything's a dollar. But I also got Christmas things. Some ribbon that my cat decided to eat. I realized, though, I didn't have any place to hang up the stocking. So I was like, you know what I should do? Figure out the solution. Because, you know, when I have a problem, <laughs> yeah, I figure out the solution, I guess. So, um... Yeah, what I did was, bricks are such a revolutionary idea to hold stockings when I could just buy stocking stuffers, st st holders. I was trying to do like, not a tutorial because, um, what is there to teach about painting a brick to, but I think it's, no, hey, no. She's trying to eat this. How many things can you find? Huh? Come here. Come here. We have a really healthy relationship. <laughs> yeah, so, um, here's my tutorial. She's licking my feet. You know I have a toe fetish. Oh, so cute. Um, anyway, so, here's what I did. I went out, I got a brick, I broke it by accident, I played it off. So I got some of my paint that I already had. I started painting that. I was like, what am I gonna do? Maybe I'll do a snowy theme. It got boring. It kind of looked like chicken pox at first. So I was like, I'm gonna do a snowy forest. And then I was like, you know, Christmas is about God, you know? So um, I put a northern star. And so it's like a snowy field of Christmas trees with the northern star above it. You can't really tell what it is. Okay, babe, what's up? Why, why is your tail? You know? And then I put some string and I wrapped it through the little loop-de-loops of the stocking. And then I put the brick on top of the string. It would look better if I had stocking holders. Or even just those like clips. But you know what? I, I... Yeah, so. Anyway, I'm just doing this for the fans. I'm Sarah, and this is Kitten, and we're wishing you a good day. Ah.